Loading instructions for the Softec IOL range, system LC1645S. Firstly, place the plunger tip onto the injector plunger. There is a small rebate in the end of the plunger, which will hold the tip in place, and you will feel a slight click into place when attaching it. If the white tip becomes detached from the tip loader, either place it back on and start again, or manually put the tip in place using the thumb and forefinger, being careful not to put it on too hard. It is very important to make sure that the tip is on straight and is not leaning to one side. When this is in place, pull or screw the injector as far back as it will go. This can be done at the beginning of the operation. Fill the barrel and both channels of the loading chamber with saline. Then inject viscoelastic into the barrel from the loading chamber side filling it halfway. After 30 seconds, you then may have the choice to continue using the cartridge with saline only, or if you prefer, you may use viscoelastic. If you choose viscoelastic, then fill both channels of the loading chamber with a moderate amount. The injector and cartridge are now primed and ready to load. Remove the lens holder from the bottle, pull back the plunger that holds the lens in place, and using McPherson's or any non-tooth forceps, remove the lens. Take the cartridge and hold it either between your thumb and second finger with the tip facing your palm. Or hold the cartridge flaps between your thumb and first finger on a flat stable surface, such as the scrub table. At this point, be careful not to fold the flaps back too far. Place the lens on top of the loading channels in a reverse S direction. Using the forceps, place a moderate amount of pressure on the optic and press them into the loading channels. At the same time, allowing the flaps to close at a 90 degree angle. This will now make sure that the lens is secure in the cartridge. Being careful not to let the flaps open again, use your forceps to manipulate the tip of the leading haptic back towards the optic and create a closed loop. Then repeat the process with the trailing haptic. Once you are happy that your haptics are in the right place, advance the lens toward the front of the loading chamber, then remove the forceps and quickly close the cartridge. Hold the cartridge by the flaps from above and check that the lens is folded neatly inside, that the haptic is not straightened and that there is no part of the lens trapped in the flaps. Using the lens advancing aid, push the lens from the chamber into the barrel of the cartridge. Straight away, take the injector and place the cartridge, angled slightly downwards, into the loading space at the top. Push it in all the way so that the closed flaps of the cartridge butt up against the front end of the loading space. Then either push or screw the plunger into the back of the cartridge and advance the lens until you can see the white plunger tip at the start of the barrel. At this point, withdraw the plunger about 5 to 8 millimeters and quickly plunge it back so that it is butted up against the trailing haptic. This will ensure that the trailing haptic is not trapped. If you are not sure, please repeat the process. This is important as it is the final safety check before you inject. You are now ready to enter the incision. Thank you for watching.